But we have the, the first set, two days uh, of ceremony with five people. John, Chris, uh, Teresa, Brenda, Travis, and Walter. And uh, I don't know, I'm s just like, last night everybody left and I end up just feeling super bored because it's mommy ceremony and I would like to do other things to enhance and make everybody's experience a little bit just fun and yeah. <laughs> connected and with an intention, you know, with a good purpose. Uh, mostly. And so I'm just sitting, figuring out in a way like how much worth it it is that I'm here. Mostly because of the fact that I feel bored. <laughs> yeah. And I could be with my baby also. Um, but yeah, and I'm here also for making extra money, so... Yeah, when you have a baby, you gotta do stuff, right? So far, I'm literally just meditating most of the time. I had a few really cool experiences uh, with one uh, Czech Brenda the first night of ceremony. Um, just because out of the nowhere I just feel like meditating, out of the nowhere I just feel like breathing, out of the nowhere I just feel like I should do certain stuff, I just go do it. Um, so I felt like like I was, I was feeling the vibes from the heart from everybody um, and I could feel like, like Brenda's heart just a little bit like it was harsh like to f do a whole a full heartbeat you know like it could not open like it was restricted so it's slowly I just uh, I don't know I just closed my eyes and felt that and felt everybody else's and I'm like wow so this is how you know you know like what people how people are because their hearts are sending these waves in every pose that you know like tells me tells my heart also like where everybody's at so with her I felt you know like she was going through some struggle or something so and to me that tells me that it's not being fluent you know it's not really flowing or she's not really flowing so I wasn't sure if I should have done this or not but you know I'm learning so I wanted to try something out and you know, I just like physically grab my hand and pretend that that was her heart. And from feeling it constricted, I would just give it an impulse, like, so they would like expand and contract, expand and contract, and just like put it back into the flow of, you know, more, <laughs> with more capacity. Uh, that was pretty cool. And, uh, and then I had, uh, as after everybody left, the cameras and everything, uh, Walter and Travis were on, uh, still on the medicine and, you know, riding the waves in and out. And it slowly, you know, like I just grabbed my drum and I started drumming. And uh, I was also feeling, you know, whatever I'm feeling, I'm doing. If I'm not feeling it something, I'm not doing that, whatever. <laughs> Literally, that's how I go. So I felt like uh, singing also, so I started kind of humming and playing with the drum and nothing else, just humming and the drum. And... You know, I'm just like, and I, as I'm doing that, I would try to change the beat because I wouldn't want it to be so slow. And, you know, I wanted to make it a little bit more moving. And I couldn't, like I would try and it wouldn't come out how I pretended to come out. So that was really interesting. And, 
So then afterwards, Walter was like, wow, what did you just do? I saw shamans dancing around a blue fire. Like, what did you just do? <laughs> no, that was really funny. Uh, and I mean, and to me, it was just like a feedback, you know, because like I'm just going with the flow. And if, to me, it's just like a feedback that I am going with the flow and mm -hmm. whatever it is that it's using me to give whatever information or send an addition. It does, I don't know. And at the same time, also makes me think that I have like some type of. Um, and I guess connection that allows me to send whatever it is that I'm sending through my voice. Um, but yeah. And then uh, Travis, he was, uh, it was his first time. So it was so beautiful to see like a baby just opening the eyes to the new world, you know, with just like such wonder and fascination and I mean, and, and just like, wow, everything just with a, a sight, you know, with the way he was looking to the world. That was so amazing. Um, so at some point I was drawing and, and he came and then we just like, because you can't talk sometimes so make sense of your words. So we were just staring at each other's eyes for the longest time. And, and you know, like, and his face will change. And I would try to, you know, like, try to make up what I'm seeing. And, you know, it can be, and you can see whatever you're actually uh, also wanting to make. So I, at some point I saw him with, like, a Japanese woman with a fan over the head, the face. But it was uh, the shadow. Uh, over this part they made it like a hand or like a fan so you know the lights and the shadows were making part of the vision that I was seeing and then he turned into a fat man with like a lot of beer and then that became like a big gorilla and I'm like wow like I, like it took me a minute to actually look into it because you know I'm gonna see a monster or something so I finally let it come out and it was just like a monkey I'm like why and it kind of makes sense because, I mean, we come from monkeys, no? <laughs> it's the evolution of monkeys. So it just made me think, like, what, like, up to which 